How to Repair and Clean Your Refrigerator After a Flood When a refrigerator is submerged in a flood, it is exposed to contaminated water, mud, and residue that can compromise its operation and safety. Recovering and cleaning a refrigerator in these conditions requires special care to ensure that it works properly again and is safe for use. In this text, we will detail the procedures necessary to recover and clean a refrigerator that was submerged during a flood. First, safety first. Before starting any procedure, unplug the refrigerator and make sure there is no electricity nearby. Wear rubber gloves and, if possible, rubber boots to avoid any risk of electric shock. If the refrigerator is still submerged or in an area of water, wait until the area is completely dry before proceeding. Second, food removal and disposal. Open the refrigerator and remove all food. Discard any items that may have been contaminated by flood water as they are not safe to consume. Also remove shelves, drawers, and other removable components to make cleaning easier. Third, initial cleaning. Use a hose to wash the outside and inside of the refrigerator, removing mud and larger debris. Avoid using high-pressure jets to avoid damaging internal components. After this initial wash, prepare a solution of warm water with neutral detergent and use sponges and cloths to clean all internal and external surfaces. Make sure to clean the door seals well. Fourth, disinfection. After the initial cleaning, it is important to disinfect the refrigerator to eliminate bacteria and other contaminants. Prepare a water solution with a small amount of bleach, about a tablespoon for every liter of water. Use this solution to clean all internal and external surfaces of the refrigerator, including the rubber seals. Let the solution sit for a few minutes before rinsing with clean water. Fifth, complete drying. After cleaning and disinfecting your refrigerator, it's crucial to make sure it's completely dry before trying to turn it on again. Leave the refrigerator open in a well-ventilated area and, if possible, use fans to speed up the drying process. Make sure all removable components are dry before replacing them in the refrigerator. Complete drying may take several hours or even days depending on the humidity and temperature of the environment. After complete drying, visually inspect the refrigerator for signs of damage that could compromise safety, such as exposed wires or corroded components. If there is no visible damage, reconnect the refrigerator to the outlet and turn it on. Monitor initial operation to ensure engine, compressor, and other components are operating correctly. If there are any questions or problems, it is recommended that you consult a specialized technician for a more detailed inspection. Following these detailed recovery and cleaning procedures can help restore your refrigerator's functionality after a flood, ensuring it is safe for use. However, if your refrigerator has suffered severe damage, it may be more economical and safer to consider replacing it with a new appliance.